What's up gamers? GamerDad here. This is a guide to help you complete the Paradise Meow Souls quest, damage opponents with pistols or heavy sniper rifles. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit that button, show me that support as well. Please do use my creator code in your Fortnite item shop. It is GamerDad, all one word, all capital letters. Greatly appreciate your support. So for this challenge, you can damage either players or bosses. High card boss and his henchmen as their opponents. And you can do this with pistols or apparently heavy sniper rifles. Now, I could have sworn they vaulted the heavy sniper rifle, and I haven't come across it yet. Um, regardless, definitely much easier to get damage with a pistol. One way to get a pistol, you can get the tactical pistol from uh, Naya or Nia. Down here, just south of Steamy Springs. Take out any players if they're here when you arrive. You'll see that speech bubble, which indicates there is an NPC around. And then once you speak with her, you can buy the epic tactical pistol for 100 gold, which is pretty cheap. The better the rarity of the gun, the easier it will be to get your damage and, you know, eliminate players. So other ways to get the a pistol include finding it on the ground, finding it within a chest. Now, whatever way you decide to do this, I do highly recommend that you get as much shields as you can um, prior to your fights. That way, you know, you lessen your chance of dying. In this case, this person kind of caught me off guard. I end up getting 96 damage on them there, and I couldn't believe it. That gas pump exploded, and the car hit me and killed me. It was absolutely ridiculous. So this is a follow-up match. I'm starting in this area here. And like I just wanted to highlight here, it is key for a damaging um, opponents or players, really. Uh, players or the bosses. You just want to get your shields up as, soon, as high as you can. So at this point, um, I am going to get the Augment Mythic Munition, which is sweet because it gives you a Mythic level or Mythic Rarity Tactical Pistol, uh, which is going to be extremely good for damaging. Don't forget, you can also upgrade a lower, like a common or an uncommon pistol, add an upgrade bench and get it up to like Legendary. So what I'm going to do at this point is I've got a little bit of damage on players, but I'm going to go for the boss now. So these are areas where there's bosses. You can see them running, uh, walking around with that eight ball and the key. So I'm going to head over um, to Meadow Mansion. Don't forget that these bosses will spawn randomly, but to be honest, getting bo uh, 500 damage on the bosses can be done in one go. It's super easy. You know, you don't really have to hunt down a player. And the bosses are honestly kind of easy once you get used to what to do with them. So I'm heading over there, just checking the map to make sure somebody hasn't killed the boss. If you see the boss there and then all of a sudden they disappear off the map, that means they've been eliminated. Now, there's going to be a player who tries to step to me in a couple seconds here. And because I'm on a damage opponent's um, challenge, I'm, gonna, I'm going to engage. So I'm going to do a little build here just to block any shots. Then I'm going to do a little up the ramp, jump and fire right over the top there, take them out. Get that loot. I'm at 196 of 500. And to be honest, I already know that as long as I get there before the bosses are killed, I'm totally going to complete this challenge. Uh, because you can get a plethora of damage off the boss and his two henchmen. And the nice thing is, these uh, the boss and the henchmen are not hostile until you hit them. So you can actually walk up to them and pull a couple headshots here and have this damage done in no time. And then the bonus as well is that once you eliminate the bosses, you can get the key card, and then you can go loot the vault up as a little reward for your success. So like I said, I'm going to get here. As you can see, I was already over 100 on a few shots there. And then don't forget, you can also take out the other two bosses. So you'll see in a moment that I'll get the damage. There we go. The challenge is now complete. And so just finish off eliminating the two other people here. The bonus is you get that loading screen. Eliminate the other, um, the henchmen. And then just, you want to make sure that you pick up the vault guard once you do so. And it's like, if you've come this far with the boss and the henchmen, you might as well take them out. So here we go, down to the vault, open it up get some sweet loot and go for that victory royale so i do hope the guide is helpful for you please drop a like leave me a comment 
And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit that button and show me that support as well. Please do use my creator code in your Fortnite item shop. It is GamerDad, all one word, all capital letters. Thanks for your support. Good luck with your challenges. And until the next video, this is GamerDad out.